I remember feeling this cavernous... I don't care how you felt! Wow, um... That was brutally honest. I've seen your promise. I've seen hundreds of thousands of promises. None of them helped me. I know. I know. I just want you to know that I've been through some version of what you're going through. Yay! I need her back. I don't care if it's not real. I need things to go back to how they were, even if it means making the same stupid game for all stupid eternity. Just the thought that she might come back is better than admitting that she never will. And that... And then it's all my fault. If I hadn't distracted her... If I'd been quicker... You're not the reason she's gone, Nick. Don't put that on yourself. It's true, if I had just... It's not true. You didn't make that thing. You didn't release it. You're not the reason your mom was where she was. There's a lot of blame to go around, but there is no way you deserve any of it. Check the line, Nick. All I can tell you is me. I don't think it's her. I think it's a very bad thing that wants to eat the entire galaxy. And you know your mom? For all her faults. She's not the galaxy eating type. It doesn't matter what I think, because it's not my promise. I can't destroy it for you. So let's just say that the creepy thing at the door... ...is not my mom. I can do that. I still don't know how... ...how does anyone... ...am I just supposed to smash cakes all day? Breaking stuff is pretty cathartic. But there's other ways. What are you doing? It's an earth thing. My mom taught me. The idea that you light something to remember someone. To pay tribute. I mean, it's not magic or anything. It doesn't bring anyone back, but... You know, it's, it's a gesture. A small thing in the face of a very bad thing. Sometimes that's all we have. I keep thinking back to the elevator. She was angry at me. Not that angry. More like, uh, lovingly concerned. Do alone. 